what we're going to do today is put new tie rods on this car. And all you're going to need is just a couple wrenches. I'm going to use a crescent to break this loose here. And then uh, I already got my ratchet on here. We'll uh, spin this off, knock it loose, and then that's it. Slip this threads into this. So, yeah, hang tight. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's that. Now we're going to get on this. I couldn't find a good... Oh, it's already right, loose. Okay. And then we'll just take it. See, we can't knock it loose there. That was easy enough, wasn't it? And then just unthread it. It's that simple. Just unthread it. Look at that thing. It's wore out. Look at that. Okay, let's okay. get the new one. And then we'll just thread this new one on. It's just that simple. So, it'll go right there. So, we'll use it. Came with it for a reason. Okay, let's uh, see. Get my cursor wrench here. Tighten this back down. There ain't nothing to these though. A lot of people pay big bucks to have these put on. When it's something most people can do by themselves. So I'll tighten this up. Put the cutter key in it and we'll go to the other side. Hang tight. Okay guys. Quick tip I thought I'd pass along. I always slide the tire under the car there. See it? For safety. Just for the heck of it. And again, all we're going to do, I'm going to lube this, take that nut off, lube this, break that nut loose, and we'll spin it off. You notice the factory ones don't have grease fittings, so stay tuned. Just that simple. I like to run it back up until it touches and then just barely back it up. And then same deal here. I've driven that socket on there. And I already wire brushed it and cleaned it up pretty good. So it's really all there is to it. Let me set this down. Really ain't much to it. It's just that simple. that simple there it is and then let's see if we can just okay now trick is to hit that right there a couple times real hard I'm gonna have to move the camera so bring you over here I don't know if you can see it or not but I'm gonna whack on a couple licks And there it is. 
that was all there was to it, just a couple of wax. <laughs> that simple. Wore out just like the other side. I would expect as much with 213,000. But I'll tell you what, this thing don't use a drop of oil. No water. I have had to put a new water pump on it and some some uh, intake jackets that go from the water pump to the intake. But this car has been pretty maintenance free. Keep the fluids changed. It's got new ABS sensors all the way around. So hang tight guys, we'll be back. So see it's thread is there. So all you do is line it up right there and you just thread it. And since I just barely backed that up, I mean I'm not gonna get it out of alignment because look. See? And we know I just barely backed it up, so that's our setting. So really it ain't even gotta be towed. In or out. And it's in there. Okay. And it comes with a castle nut and a flat washer just like the other side. Put that on there. And we'll put our cotter, cotter key through that castle nut when we're done. And that'll be it. So that's all there is to it other than greasing this grease fitting here. When I get it all tightened up, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this, put the cotter key in, tighten this, grease it, we'll be done. So hope you all enjoyed the video and maybe you learned something. Thanks for watching. And there you go. Start to finish in less than 30 minutes. Both sides. So, how much money do you think that saved? Quite a bit. A couple hundred bucks at least. Parts were 50. Good to go for another 200,000. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.